our group's project um, was a movie theater companion. It's basically a tool designed to help theater owners choose which movies they should place um, in each individual screening room. We use a, a combination of variables uh, to help determine this. Involved in that is demographics of the particular city that the theater is in. We also use the movie genre, movie rating, and then critic scores uh, from both Rotten Tomatoes and Metacritic. On the front screen here, you can see in the lower left-hand corner, uh, we've run a web query that pulls in the current top ten movies according to box office gross. And then uh, in the center, you can see the weekend box office breakdown icon, which if you click on, uh, will pull in a, a column graph that basically shows you the previous weekend's box office gross for the top ten movies currently. Next to that icon is a demographics by city icon, uh, which if you click on, you can choose uh, a city. We use the top 33 cities in the U.S., uh, and basically, once you click on that, it will create a pie chart that shows you um, the percentage of people in that city that are age 0 to 14, 15 to 34, 35 to 54, and then 55 and over. Next, we'll go into the screen optimizer configuration, and this basically shows you, uh, you can change the weights um, of each of the the movie genre, the rating, or the critic scores. Uh, if you think there should be a larger weight placed on the movie genre, you can adjust that anywhere from, from 0 to 10. And then also we have at the bottom um, box office revenue noise. We've kind of introduced a, a random element into the previous um, weekend's box office numbers, so you can adjust that anywhere from 0 to 100. And then also, you can return to default settings by hitting that blue button right there, which will take you back to 5 for the different weights, and then back to the 20% for the noise. Then at any time, on any screen, you can always use the Return to Home button to return to the front page. So now we're going to launch the Screen Optimizer tool. Uh, basically, you can select your city. Uh, we're going to choose Phoenix here. And select the number of screens anywhere from 6 to 20. You can also select the number of screens on which you'd like to show the top ranked movie. Click Next. This is uh, screening capacity, so the number of seats in each screening room. You just need to enter all of these. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and click the Next button. And with that information, basically what the tool does is it tells you exactly uh, which movie to put in which screening room. So if you look here, um, the I guess the highest ranking movie is going to go into the, the room with the, the largest number of seats. And so you can see here Clash of the Titans. Uh, goes in screening room 10 with 500 seats. We also remember we selected that the top movie would go into two rooms and so Clash of the Titans is also in screening room 4 which has the second largest capacity. Um, now we're going to show you um, choose another city and show you how the demographics of the cities um, can impact the ranking of the movies and so we're going to choose San Francisco leave the number of screen number of screens the same and also the number of screens that you show the top ranked movie in will leave the capacity of those screening rooms the same as well and let's see what this pulls up for us. Um, as you can see basically it's brought in two new movies so Bounty Hunter is one and She's Out of My League is another of the new movies that it's brought in. Um, Last Song was a movie that uh, has now the ranking on it has been decreased so it's had to go into a screening room that has a fewer number of seats and that has to do with the genre of last song yeah but the rating oh the rating of the last song is PG and so it's going to 
typically attract a younger crowd. And if you look at the demographics, the difference between Phoenix and San Francisco, San Francisco has fewer younger people than Phoenix does. And so because of the PG ranking, Last Song moves down on the list when you move to San Francisco because of the, the less amount of younger uh, viewers. Now we're going to return to home and we're going to show you what could potentially happen if you change the weights. Um, and so again we're going to use San Francisco and we're going to pump up the movie genre weight from 5 to 10 and see how this impacts uh, the results of the tool. Okay, so as you can see here um, it's brought in a new movie. That movie is, is Chloe, and basically Chloe is a thriller, uh, suspense type movie. And so we pumped up the genre weighting. And so the thriller suspense category um, is tailored more to an older type viewer. And so in San Francisco, um, oh, because it's um, tailored to an older older viewer when you pump up the genre weight that's going to actually it in starts the tool includes that movie uh, because of the increased importance on the genre category now we're going to return to home again we're going to go to the user guide now and basically what this allows you to do if you have any questions at any point in time um, at the top the I guess the cells that have the blue text in them you can click on any of those and it will take you um, to that place in the user guide where it can answer any questions about um, any of those different categories at any time you can hit the return to top button and it will take you back to the top of the screen um, and then you can go back down um, to areas where you have questions. Again, anytime you can return to home, um, and that takes you back to the front page of the tool. Thank you.